What are you doing under there, buddy? Happy Yoon's Day, guys. I just got a bunch of silliness out here tonight. I just want to be silly. <laughs> I just started tying things together and putting out a bunch of items. I kind of want them to crawl up here, reach in through these holes. This is for cornhole, our bags as some people call it. Just watch them reach in and try and come up here on a higher level with me. And so I'm going to be throwing good stuff out here for them tonight. And I got some uh, peanut butter on toast for them. Got some honeycombs for them, some colored marshmallows, some peanuts, some cookies. Look at him, he's investigating that rope. I was just real curious, things hanging on the rope. With, they're real curious like cats. I, I want to see them just investigate things. So there's a lot of items inside there for them to investigate. Tight containers where they have to kind of work it out. A lid they have to pop over. So I just want them to have a good fun time tonight exploring and seeing new items, new things. Well, look at that. There's the, the brains right there, Mr. Wiener. He's a smart kid. <laughs> he knows how to get his uh, tip of his claw right under something and uh, to lift it right up. So I want to thank everyone for uh, giving me uh, nice wishes for my back recovery. It's uh, it's doing okay. I, I went back to work on Tuesday, and I've been going at it all week, and I'm not 100%, but I'm good enough to do my job, and my job is very physical. I'm a professional painter, and painting ceilings with all that work above my head does a number on the lower back, and that, and carrying my, my gear in and out of places and gallons of paint, so I had to tell myself to take it a little bit slower than I want, but, uh, I'm, I'm pulling through and I just want to thank everyone for the kind wishes. <laughs> so down the hole there I got a, I got a bucket. Look at him, he's checking everything out. What are you doing there, pal? Look what I got. Look what I got. Do you want some peanut butter? Oh no. It flipped upside down on my board. Oh, it's a sticky mess now. Lick that up. Yeah. You're such a good boy. There you go, clean that up for me. <laughs> this is going to be a mess at the end of the night. Okay, you're a good boy. <laughs> I don't think they could fit in that hole. Maybe they can. Maybe a little one could. What is up here? It's all slippery. I'm going to grab you by the scruff and slide you around. So some are starting to come in now. We got a few out there. I see cutie monster. I see ones way out in the yard. They'll start to come in. So there's about six that way and Mr. Wiener here. Another thing I want to do tonight, especially if the babies come around, is use the cat toy. Let's see if I could get them to play. This guy was so playful when he was young. He really was a goofy one, and his brother too. But now he's grown up and he's got, gotten a little serious. Okay, Skittish just showed up. Skittish is checking out that rope and the piles of dog food. Hi, Skittish. What's that? You want marshmallow Skittish? There's a bunch up here. So those are brothers. There's Wiener. He's doing his displays. He's smelling them going, oh yeah, that's my brother. Look at him investigate. Mr. Wiener is very social. He really likes to greet and meet with the raccoons when they come in. Oh, look at those brothers. You know, I'm curious, getting at this age, do they start to get a little competitive with each other? Both of them wanting access to females. They're certainly doing a lot of jostling back and forth. 
that's uh it's pretty interesting to watch i don't know is it just them being silly or is these little uh forms of intimidation like where are you in the pack what's your position so mr wiener is just obsessed with skittish They're very similar in appearance, but Skittish just has an extra sweet face, I think. Mr. Wiener's cute, but not as cute as Skittish. Okay, someone's heading up the maple tree. That might be Mama Moira. Oh, here's Bill. Bill heard me toss some peanuts, and that always works. Who are you chasing off, Wiener? Is that bashful out there? Yeah, he's, he's really different this year. And a lot of it, I think, is uh, his age. And the new dynamics of uh, the age he's at in the group. You better get it, Mr. Wiener. You better get that toy. Yeah. <laughs> I can have a plan for these guys, but raccoons, uh, <laughs> they just do their own thing, <laughs> which I love. He's figuring out those drawers. Good for him. Yeah, there's a jackpot there. A lot of peanuts in there. Okay, we got skittish up here now. Hi, skittish. <laughs> He's not so sure about this. Oh, Bill's back. Bill just wants peanuts. You silly. You silly boy. Is that you, little Napoleon? You doing the meet and greet with Mr. Wiener? You learning how to be a male? Yeah, lick that peanut butter up. Ha, ha, ha. 
He's a little bit frustrated with this toy. <laughs> okay, little guy. Here's Brutus. <laughs> Hi Brutus. What you looking for? That'll be a dog. Yeah, each time I put these devices out, they get smarter every time on how to work it. I remember the first time I put this stuff out, it took them a long time to figure out those drawers. And look, uh, they know how to take that top off of that box real fast. That's a little Napoleon working right there. Tiny Tim! Tiny Tim! Hi, buddy! Oh, here's your spot. Here's your spot, Tiny Tim. There you go. That's a good Tiny Tim. There you go. Hi, little guy. Oh, you've got some crusties by your eyes. Need some help cleaning it off? Were you crying? Looks like one of your whiskers got chopped. How's your little paw? How's your little paws doing?
Yeah, little Napoleon. Skittish. That's skittish. Well, hi, cute tiny Tim. There you go. Yeah. You eat, eat, eat. Little Napoleon's all gone. He's not here to boss you around. You just chill out. Say, guys, I'm going to say happy Oons Day and say good night. Wishing everyone a very nice weekend. Uh, the weather looks good where I'm at. I hope it's nice by you, too. Get out in the sunshine. Go for a walk. So take care, everyone. Bye now.